and hello again hello again so this is the second video second tutorial um and we are planning to do whole bunch of them all the all, all the series on on all the possible topics uh topics uh you will need um so at some point we have understood that uh we have uh, we have actually created on on most of the for most of the questions for most of the problems or all possible questions we have created already um, that there is a help desk uh, help desk and there is a support ticketing system but many uh, many users would benefit from live videos as well or from from the videos walkthroughs okay this is a short and simple simple way to explain to you how to add another domain this is probably number one biggest pain for all our users or for any user who is using stack cp panel so yes we feel your pain but this well li life is as it is at some point i'm sure this this system will be improved and in your case don't worry once you'll go you once you will understand the architecture once you will understand how to do that that's it that's it it will be as simple so first things first so once you are into your stackcp.com uh, we can see that i'm still on domain 5.net i do not own the domain name i've just created uh, an account for and domain 5.net is the primary domain name i do not know who owns it and uh, of course i haven't changed the name servers so the first things first you can go to your domains up here okay let us go back home so this is the dashboard you would go to the main names this is the main the main subsection for the main names up here you will have domains up here you can add unlimited number of the main names up here subdomains you'll be able to add subdomains and up here you can manage dnses and on on this topic we will, i will create a separate a separate in-depth uh, in-depth video but now we are talking about domains so we go to domains and we can see that we have only one domain and this is the primary domain the primary domain the document root or the folder where all the file files will be for the domain.com uh, for the main 5.net will be public HTML. Let me open a new tab, file manager. And this is, this is the same as your file manager. So this is the top level. You will see public HTML. And once you go in here, here's that the default index page. And this public HTML is for the for the for the primary domain name now there are there are two options there are two options you can create you can create uh okay uh let me hold the calls hold horses a bit and i will explain you in a bit in a uh, i'll explain at the beginning in the birds and then i'll, I'll show i'll show you i'll show what is what so the first things first what you have to do number one you go to file manager and you create a folder for every domain name so what so let us say second domain name let us say uh, our first one was was what domain 5.net the next one let us say will be domain 7.net so you would go and create a folder a folder and then you, you can give it any name any name even including dot com dot net although i would not advise that i would say if your domain name is domain7.net then create a folder and name it uh, domain7.net and once the folder is created then you have to go to domains i will show everything i'm just explaining now in words and then you will go to your domains and you will add that domain and you will say this is uh and this is the folder where um where all the files for that for that domain will be it is that simple let me show you how it works so number one you go here i would number one mistake people create folders within public html this is highly highly um, I, I do not advise to do that at all the the only the only way is when you when you when you do that is when you even create a separate folder here within like you would you would you would create a folder uh come on you would create a folder here for 
primary domain. So, sometimes uh, it, it it could be fine, but I would I would I, I, I would def definitely not advise it. My my advice is, is leave public HTML only for the primary domain. So okay, now we go back to the top level. We can see public HTML. So number one, create a folder. Let us say domain uh, domain seven. Although domain and domain seven dot net, we just call the folder domain seven and create. That's done. Now we go to manage domains. Do you remember the place? You go home. You go to domains. Up here. Oh, let me see. Let me remove this thing from the bottom and I'll make it a bit larger. Here's domain seven dot net. System says you can add it. Add the main. Now wait for the system to add the, the domain name. Now there is a notification successfully added. And now have a look. By the default, every domain name you add will point to public HTML. In this case, as our folder for the domain is created besides public HTML, so not within public HTML, this is what we do. We delete it. Domain 7. And update. That's it. Let us say now you would like to add domain 8. So repeat. New folder. Domain. Let us say domain 18. Domain 18. Create. Manage domains. Domain 18. Remember, these names are made up names. You can name them as you wish. But my suggestion is use the same names as 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 close as possible to the domain. Imagine if you have here like 20 different folders. You want to know which which folder is for is for which domain. So domain 18, up here you would go the domain18.net or let us say .info. That it really doesn't matter for the demo purposes. And domain. We are waiting for the system to add a, uh, to add a new domain. Here you go. The third domain name has been added. And we can see again, it is pointing to public HTML. And uh, we have created this folder. So what we do here, main 18, update. Bang, done. Now we can go here to home. Of course, you have to change the <laughs> name servers. You have to change the name servers for all of these domain names. So these are the name servers, ns1, docstackdns.com to ns2, ns3, ns4. Please do that before, before doing any installations. But for the demo sake, you go to, so you choose domain name, domain 18, do not enter anything as this is optional and install WordPress. And installing WordPress is working on the third domain name we have created. Tick, 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 and the system is working, system is working, and WordPress has been successfully installed. So we can we can double check it, we can refresh. Okay, domain 18. Here you go. You can see the installation files. That's it. Beautiful. And about stacking, stacking addresses, we'll talk, we'll talk on a different on a different topic. That is a temporary address. So this was a short, short tutorial on how to add your second, third, or fourth or fifth domain name. Enjoy. I really hope you will find it helpful. And please leave the public HTML only for the primary domain name. Thank you.
การแคบฟัง